Hello. This is my 1987 CD, the first CD of the Beatles Revolver album. And this is the one that just came out, what, a year and a half ago? That uh, is the remixed version of the Beatles Revolver album. And between these two in their timelines, there was a remastered version that came out on the Beatles box set. So what does it all mean? What's the difference between remix, remaster, and original version? Let's talk about it. In the late 40s, early 50s, recording studios were starting to use reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. Reel-to-reel -reel tape like this, quarter-inch tape. The thing was, the original, the original machines were all mono, one track. One track that filled the whole tape, one, one part of the whole tape. Les Paul didn't think that was enough because he wanted to do multiple takes of his guitars and his wife Mary Ford singing. So he had the Ampex Corporation make, me, make him bigger recording heads and he developed things like the four track, eight track tape recorders that he could put different parts on. And when they were all on there, he would mix them down to a stereo master. As time went on, we ended up with 8-track, 16-track, and 24-track. 24-track being the last incarnation of the analog tapes. But the tapes had to get bigger. It started with the quarter-inch mono tapes. Went to, uh, when it got up to the 8-track tapes, they needed a bigger tape. They used a 2-inch tape, uh, rather a 1-inch tape. Then they went to a 2-inch tape. And uh, that's, they put everything on the tape, all the different instruments on all the different channels. This was the recording revolution of the late 50s into the 60s. And when all that stuff was on the tape, it would go back through the mixing console and come out as a stereo master track. And that would be recorded on a two-track machine, just two, stereo, and that was the master tape. That was it. That's what they made your records out of, cassettes, CDs, and I can even say, if you were fortunate enough to have them in the, in the 60s and, and 70s, well, they made them in the 50s too. There were commercial releases that you could buy on Real to real. I have a few here that I've kept over the years. Moby Grape, the first Rolling Stones album. You could get these commercially made um, on real to real, so the quality was was very good. When a CD is mastered from the original master tape. Let's say this is the original master tape, or this is the original master tape of the Rolling Stones, let's say. Okay? When it's remastered from this, ta this tape, they bring the two stereo channels back through the board. They EQ it, equalization. They um, put different kinds of compression on it. They do whatever they have to do to try and clean it up and make it sound better, sound more modern. That's a remaster. So what's a remix? A remix is when you take all those 16, 24 channels, you run them back through the board, and you literally remix the entire album or single or whatever it is, if you have the original tapes. And in a lot of cases, the original tapes either got lost they don't know where they are, and they found that a bad thing was happening, that these tapes that were made, especially in the 70s, um, didn't hold up to time. 
the uh, the oxide that was on the tape that actually held the information flaked off of the tape as they were trying to play them back and they found they had to find a way to bake the tapes to try and make the adhesive on the tapes hold up the uh, magnetic stuff before they put it on a machine. So in a lot of cases some albums are not available to be remixed whether they're two track, four track, eight track, or sixteen or twenty four track they don't have anything but the two track master All right. this is where Peter Jackson kinda steps in and what he has is the AI technology where they could go to a mono track from the early fifties or as on this set they went back to the Beatles 1962 recording of Love Me Do which was only ever recorded in mono and they were able to get the computer to take each track each instrument and create a separate track for it so now the bass is on one channel drums on another channel they were even able to break down Ringo's drums so that they there was a, there's a track for the snare and there's a track for the kick bass and the vocals could be on different channels and from that they brought those back through the console and they did a remix that's a remix not a remaster okay because they didn't use the original master tape they did a whole new session with them and it's great I'm loving it anyway that's kind of the explanation, if that makes any sense. That's the difference between a remaster and a remix. And when you get to the 1987 Revolver album, they took the original master mix tape and just copied it to CD. They didn't do anything in between, so it, it's like having the original vinyl record without the pops and hisses. But it's not better than the original. It's just louder and a little bit less noisy. Anyway, I hope, I hope that got through. Have a good day. If you have any questions, be sure and ask me, because I'm not sure I explained it perfectly, but I think you'll understand. Have a good day. Please subscribe.